John Robinson is the Titans general manager. Uh, I know you enjoyed the victory over Baltimore, but you look at it a little differently when you come back and break down the tape. John, as you viewed the tape, what pleased you most about last Sunday in Charm City? I think it's the way we, we you know, we kept fighting Mike for, for four quarters and, and into overtime. You know, we were down there, we were trading punches with those guys, but you know, our, our effort and, and our finish, what seemed like drive after drive to keep trying to find a way to, to come away with points and, and, and get a stop, uh, whether it was A.J. Brown's run where he had four or five guys helping him get in the end zone, defensively coming up with the stop, a quick three and out once we started overtime, and then Derek's, you know, run there at the end to kind of seal the win and six or seven guys sprinting right behind him uh, to finish it off. It was just really impressive, the fight that our guys showed uh, for four quarters and overtime. What enabled the Titans to get the passing game going in the second half of the game against Baltimore? And what do you do to keep that going into Indianapolis? Yeah, I mean, I think it all starts up front with the protection. You know, I thought we finally got some some clean pockets in there. We, we, we bought enough time for Ryan to, to step up or get himself in position to make some throws. I thought the receivers did a good job of, of getting open, beating uh, man coverage or, or finding those spots in zone coverage and setting a route down, coming up with grabs uh, and, and extending drives for us. And we've got to continue that against the Colts. Colts also won in overtime on Sunday. They beat Green Bay. What stood out to you most about the Colts' victory over the Packers? You know, I think it you know, offensively for those guys, they racked up over 400 yards. They they rushed for right at 140, I think. You know, Rivers threw for three touchdowns. The other side of the ball, whether it was special teams or defense, they created turnovers. I think you had an interception and three fumbles that they got. So they got extra possessions for the offense. So, you know, all three phases of the game, those guys were clicking on Sunday. Do you get the feeling that Phillip Rivers is really finding his groove with his receivers right now? And if so, what do you do to throw him off? Yeah, he, he seems to be. You know, he's he's certainly more acclimated, you know, now than he was in the early part of the season when you're first kind of kicking off. Learning those receivers, the, the timing of their routes, the skill set of the players, you know, a lot of catch and run throws underneath. We've got to do a good job of, of staying tight in our coverage and trying to create some pressure and, and getting him off the spot. When Phillip can stand there on the spot and just throw the football, uh, he's a tough guy to beat. All right, John, so what do you hope to take out of Baltimore and that victory into Indianapolis that will key a win and first place in the AFC South? Well, I think it's what we led the show off with is, you know, the starting with our effort and our finish and our, and our fighting. Like, you know, they're a good football team. You know, we feel like we got a good football team. We're going to trade punches back and forth. They're going to make some plays. You know, we're going to make some plays. We just got to find ways to come up with some stops on defense, create some turnovers offensively. We got we got to push through some of those third downs and stay on the field. I mean, we got to be solid on special teams. You know, that, that hurt us in the last game. We've got to firm that up and do a good job in the kicking game.